So, Driven by Moss 8.50 is out and I guess you already watched the introduction video and I will step into this video into the new features of the Push 1 and Push 2. Let's start with the most interesting features where all the people have waiting for which is the note repeat. The note repeat button was so far not available, it was off now, you can toggle it. And if you play something here you get the notes and if you turn on note repeat you will see it will it will repeat the note not very surprisingly and finally we can do that but it's not only repeating the note you can also use it as a full-blown apatiator so if you play multiple notes you will see it will apatiate and if you long press here the note repeat button what I already did you will get this configuration so you can change here the length of the period so let's try that you can either use here the buttons below or you can use the knob up there to change it so let's do it you can go you can go very fast or down to one quarter note as well let's go here down to one fourth and you can also configure the length of the note so you can make it longer or very short so and you have different options so you can configure all the different settings for the sequences so you can say okay this is a normal up mode you're gonna have here up down so the usual sequence of stuff the interesting one is also the first which plays all notes at once which we should have a different sound to hear that let's go to a normal polysyn so with the sound you can hear it better it's now played as a chord and if you go again let's go to uh, up down here or up you can also say the range here how many octaves the aperture should play so one octave And we can go really crazy with lots of octaves here. You can say it's synced to the tempo or you can have a free running impetuator if you need that. And you can say you want to use pressure. So you can, we would need a different sound for that as well. So I loaded up a piano here. So this is really nice. You can give different pressure to it. And they will play louder or softer and you can turn it off. So then it will only be the initial value. There will be no change if you turn that off. So we'll get the first velocity. Yeah, and you can also enable shuffle for that. So it shuffles the node and this is working via the global groove feature. So I put that in here as well. So you can enable here the groove. So much uh, for the note repeat. And it's the same on the push one. It just looks different in the menu, but you get the totally same options for that. Another new feature is now that we can change the Q volume and the Q mix in the master mode. So we go to the master mode. You see here, there is now here a second channel which says Q and the panorama here acts for the Q mix. So if you look into Bitwig, you see also here is your Q level and your Q mix. So the Q level is if you preview something from the browser, you can then here adjust the volume of its output and this should be for example let's go here to a wave file let's look at this for example so you can turn down the volume of your preview file so pretty handy if you want to preview something and configure it for example for headphones for live view so here you can adjust the volume and the mix volume of these settings next one so delete function not only for track but also for devices this is pretty handy and i was really waiting for so for example we want to delete here this battery track so you can now simply keep the delete button pressed click on battery and it's gone so same is for the devices so we see these three devices we can then also keep the delete button pressed click on the device and the device is gone there's a little bug with that if you notice there is no device selected so the problem with that is if you 
go here to that one for example and if you delete the last one you will totally lose context and will need to go up again and down again and then even then it's not working somehow and then it works again okay so you need to totally go out and, and, and in again to make that work again which is a little bit of a drawback but it's already filed as a bug and i hope it gets fixed soon next one we have record quantization for recording your play can also be configured now in the quantize setting so if you long press quantize you will see now you can enable here the quantize note length here is a record quantization quantization so you can say it's off now if you play notes it's not quantized but you can say okay i want to have quantized this to 60 notes for example when i play or whatever you prefer and we have lots of parameters for note editing now if you go here let's switch back to this other project which already contains notes and if i select a note you see these are all the parameters we have the velocity release velocity gain and so on and all these parameters can now be edited directly at the device to do so you need to go into a sequencer for example here i have that note and if I long press that, I see exactly the same values as you see here in Bitwig, and you can change that to your yeah, if I would not yeah, to your hearts alike. So you can change here the velocity, you can change release velocity, the gain, the panorama, the micro pitch, the timbre. All these stuff can be changed here directly from the device, and you also see here the step and the actual note, and you can also change here the length of the note you still cannot change your position because the position is still tied here to that pad you inserted it because that is the concept of the sequencer so i hope this will also change in the future but currently this value can still not be changed and something new we got also since Bitwig 3 is that we have MIDI channels. And now with 3.1, you can also edit that now on a device. The question is, if I enter here a note on which MIDI channel is that? By default, it's one, but you can now change that. If you keep the select button pressed here, you get here to your track settings. And I put also in the track settings now, the MIDI insert edit channel is number one. And you see, you can change that to any of the 16 MIDI channels and you will also see that the notes go away so you will see the only notes here on MIDI channel 1, MIDI channel 2 and so on. So you can edit these things now also directly here from your device. Something a user asked about was we have now user settings since uh, the last version I think or two versions back which have the non-meaningful names here page 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. I thought okay let's make them edible and that's what you can do here also in the document section so if we go to the document section you will see you have here parameters for your controllers as well and the push document parameters already give you the scales oh by the way i forgot about this also the note repeat settings are stored with your document and you can also change them here if you want and also here the media channel is also here and if you scroll down you see you can name the user pages and this is also for each document or song you create you can name them differently which i think is pretty handy for live use for example you can say okay here i have some filtering going on uh, this is volumes or whatever you come up with and you see that directly here on the device it's, if you cannot read it it's here filter and it's volume and some nice trick you can also completely remove the name and this will then if you leave here the field it's still working so you can still select it but it's completely hidden and I think you can use that to remove some clutter. So for example, if you don't need those pages, you can just clear them and then you have even a better overview and see where your parameters are. Okay, so lots of new additions to push and uh, so much for this introduction. And if you dig it, make some funky music. <laughs> <laughs>